hello hi everyone in this video i will uh, explain you uh, about the salesforce chrome extension like uh, we have so many extensions in salesforce uh, in this video i will explain you uh, three main uh, easy and easy we can use in our uh, these extensions one is the salesforce apex api names and another one is salesforce apex class links and another one is salesforce uh, dev console data exporter like uh, so generally we know right uh, how we can uh, add these ex uh, extensions to the chrome and all so uh, once we open the chrome web store here we can search uh, like uh, extension salesforce api field names and here we, we have a button like add to chrome but already uh, this extension uh, i have added to the my org that's why it is showing added to chrome so same thing for uh, remaining uh, extensions also apex class links and uh, salesforce uh, dev console data exporter so in this video i will explain you like uh, what are the features of these three extensions and how we can use uh, in uh, uh, our salesforce org uh, these extensions okay uh, so first one is like uh, uh, salesforce api field names i will show you how we can use this salesforce api field names exp uh, extension so here i am opening any uh, one record so here i am taking this record okay so once i i once i have opened the record detail page we know right uh, these are all called record data and fields uh, labels for example, generally we, uh, in Apex classes, triggers, visual force pages, any web services, we need Salesforce API names, field API names, right? So generally, uh, we know right, we can go with uh, Salesforce object or any uh, clicking on view fields, we can know the field API names. So instead of that, uh, the going uh, uh, every time to the uh, view object, directly we can check field API names in the same page only. So using this salesforce api names field extension so so now i will click on this salesforce api names uh, ex uh, extension so after clicking so here we can see right field api names so, uh, email top amount and opportunity type all those things for example we want to hide these api names so generally again we need to click on this api names button okay so again our labels uh, appear like the same as uh, previous labels so uh, using this uh, salesforce api names uh, extension we can check that api names so easily we can understand like we for example we want to use this field uh, api names in any trigger any class directly just copy and paste the trigger and we can use it okay and the next one is salesforce apex class links so generally we know right uh, in classes or any batch apex we have written any web service we are calling some other uh, uh, we are calling some any other apex classes in the same uh, class and uh, okay so a trigger in the triggers also we are calling helper classes so uh, for example we want to open this helper class again i need to go apex class and i need to search so it will take a lot of time right instead of that directly uh, using this salesforce apex class links extension so here I'm selecting this class. So I, I'm clicking here uh, link button is available here. Okay. So after clicking this link button here, uh, our trigger uh, class name is showing like uh, uh, with the link. So just I will click with a single click, I can open this class, same class. So we don't need to go to uh, every time uh, class and uh, any other classes directly with a single click we can open the classes for any we can use uh, this link to the triggers and apex classes any batch apex so everywhere we can use this class suppose i want to hide this link just i'm selecting this link again here just i'm clicking uh, a link button here okay sorry um I'm opening this just click on dealing button so it will remove here so uh, we can use uh, by using this salesforce apex class links extension we can 
easily go to the any other office classes uh, in the same trigger without uh, searching every time uh, classes and this methods okay and other one is salesforce uh, dev console data exporter like uh, generally we know right uh, salesforce having a inbuilt tool salesforce dev developer console i am opening developer console here In the developer console, we can write here also. We can write up classes, triggers, visual post pages, anything. Suppose we want to debug anything, here also we can debug logs and all those things. We want to, suppose we want to query anything, we can write here in developer console. Like how we can use uh, this uh, Salesforce Dev Console uh, exporter in the, the Salesforce developer. I will show you. So, in the query editor, I'm, I will write when it is on sample query. I'm closing all these unwanted uh, logs and classes. So, for example, I want to. I'm writing some uh, class, uh, some sample query. Maybe. Yes. I'm clicking your exit button, execute button. okay for example we want to add any fields uh, like you can add here account and phone also you need click on this to we'll say phone also so suppose i want to export uh, this data into the csv format just i will click here click to export data in csv so whatever the query return data everything is uh, come uh, displaying in a, in a new window just by clicking on download csv file so data will be downloaded here so i will open this uh, file i will check like how data is displaying and everything so like same like csv format so i hope uh, the using this extension we can uh, write query and we can easily export the data so this will help you like some sometimes we need uh, particular data in record directly uh, going to uh, creating reports and all those things using this extension we can directly create right uh, data we can easily create here and we can export it to csv format so even if reports and dashboards will take a lot of time right okay friends bye uh, i hope you uh, enjoyed this video uh, if you like my videos please subscribe uh, my videos you can get uh, if i i if i am uploading any new videos you will uh, get through gmail so thanks bye